Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Luca DeMonte, the global communications person for Maserati. That's right. Well, good to see you and welcome to Maserati. Next year, we'll be uh, celebrating the 100th anniversary of the creation of Maserati. It was actually born in, in uh, Bologna, about 20 miles south from Modena, and there were actually uh, five brothers out of seven. Uh, five brothers who had this love and interest for automobiles and mechanics at large, and uh, three of them were at the heart of this, of this company. It opened as a workshop, basically, and also with a lot of interest for racing cars. And the Trident actually was designed by the only brother who didn't have any real interest in mechanics, but he was a painter, and so he chose the trident of the Neptune statue in Bologna. So their hometown gave us the, the trident, which we kept, of course, once the company moved in 1939 from Bologna to Modena, where we are now. Well, the five brothers, you know, held the, the, the company until 1937. Mm -hmm. And so by 1937, uh, the Orsi family, the Orsis were entrepreneurs from Modena, bought the company and two years later, 1939, they moved the whole company here, uh, mechanics, uh, technicians, engineers, and even the brothers. The three brothers who were involved with the company uh, stayed until 1947. We go from the, the brothers owning it to a corporation owning it. Ferrari was lucky enough to find Fiat at the very beginning. Uh, Maserati did find Citroën, the French manufacturer, and for a number of years things went really well because Citroën was a great, great company. Mm -hmm. The problem was when the oil crisis of 1973-74 hit the world, Citroën was in, in big troubles. It was actually sold by the Michelin family to uh, Peugeot, the, the PSA group, and they had to, do, to take bold moves, and one of these was to cut whatever was not proficient and actually um, Maserati was bottom of the list. The Italian government stepped in. Uh, the Italian government uh, kept it for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. And these were the years of De Tomaso, who was an um, Argentinian, a former driver and entrepreneur, who basically managed the company, which was owned by the Italian state. And then, uh, fortunately, in 1993, uh, Avvocato Giovanni Agnelli did exactly what he had done 20 years earlier with Ferrari. He bought Maserati. So Fiat now owns both Ferrari Correct. and the, Maserati. Correct. Maserati is, is, uh, gets purchased by Fiat in 1993, and then from 1997 through 2005, it's actually managed by Ferrari. Mm -hmm. Then by 2005, we separated from Ferrari, still under the same uh, Fiat umbrella as they are. So today, we are 100% uh, owned by Fiat. Perfect. Luca, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much.